being filled with the Word to speak God's words for us to express and represent God. As human beings, we are created by God in His image to express Him and represent Him. As believers in Christ, we are born of God in our spirit and we can speak God's words to represent God. Hallelujah! For us to speak God's words, we need to be filled with the Word of God. In this evil age where all men are simply going along this flood of dissoluteness, we can stand for God and in God by abiding in the Word of God. We can be those living in our spirit to express God simply by being filled with the living Word of God. We can live a proper Christian life and we can build up the church as the body of Christ by being filled with the living Word of God. The Lord has a way to move among us and through us when we read His Word and allow His Word to richly abide in us. The Word of God is living and operative, sharper than any two-edged sword, and able to discern the thoughts and intentions of the heart and to divide the soul from the Spirit, H-E-B. 4.12. When we come to the Word of God with the exercise of our spirit, the Word becomes living, the Word operates in us and divides the soul from the Spirit. Even more, the Word of God infuses us with God Himself and transfuses the element of God into us. Though the words in the Bible are black letters on the white page, there is life in these words. We can come to the Word of God to receive life and light. The Lord shines on us through His Word, and in His shining, we see who we are and repent, and we also see who He is, and we join ourselves to Him. Even more, the words that the Lord speaks to us are spirit and life, John 6 63. When we come to the Word of God in a living way, we receive spirit and life. The life-giving Spirit is embodied in God's Word, and we can receive Spirit and life by coming to the Word with the exercise of our Spirit. This life, the divine life concealed in and embodied in the words in the Bible, is the life that makes us able to live the Christian life. The way we can express God is by receiving His words into us in a living way, and the way we represent God is by speaking God's words in oneness with God. When we take in the Word of God by the exercise of our spirit, our humanity is enriched and beautified, and we are uplifted in our living of Christ, for He has a way to live in us. The Word of God abiding in us is Christ abiding in us, when the Word abides in us, we abide in Christ, and we can spontaneously live Christ and express Christ. When God speaks, power is transmitted, and this is the power of the divine life. We have seen that, when we have God's speaking, we have light and life, furthermore, when we have the speaking of God through His Word, we also have power. And this power is not an instant power that comes upon us in a miraculous way as some think, this is the power of life. The power that God gives to us through our enjoyment of Him in His living Word is not a mushrooming power that is strong for a little while and then is gone. Instead, it is the power of life as seen in sowing a seed and sprouting, growing blossoming, and reproducing. The speaking of God in His Word is full of power, and when we abide in His Word and let His Word abide in us, we have the power of the divine life. This power of life may not be outwardly supernatural or sudden, with miraculous deeds, but it operates in the depths of our being to make us the same as Christ. Just as there's power in the seed of a plant, and this power causes the plant to sprout, grow, blossom, bear fruit, and reproduce itself, so there's power in the speaking of God. The church life is the church field where we sow the seeds of the Word of God. The more we have God speaking, the more the seeds of life are sown, and year after year these seeds grow and reproduce. We need to remain in the Word of God and speak God's words to one another, and we need to both personally and corporately enjoy God and His Word. Nothing is so prevailing as the power of life. Sometimes you may see a wall and, though this wall seems dead and lifeless, there's a little plant growing on the wall, for the seed found some earth and started to grow. Sometimes the concrete pavement is simply broken by a plant that grows through it or by the roots of a tree nearby. The power of life is amazing, but it is not sudden, miraculous, or supernatural, there is power in the seed of life. Praise the Lord! We have the divine life and we can receive more life by being in the Lord's life-giving Word with the exercise of our spirit. As we remain in the Word of God and speak God's words to one another, what happens is that the divine life sprouts, grows, 
blossoms, and bears fruit in us. This is nothing of man's doing, we simply open to the Lord and His Word and we remain open to the watering through the saints speaking the Word of God, and life simply grows. The seed of life has been sown in us, the Word of God has come to us, and life is here, where the Word of God is, there is power in life. This life with its power shapes us into the image of Christ, the firstborn Son of God, and it causes us to grow to maturity until we are exactly like Him. This life comes from the Word of God. How crucial it is for us to remain in fellowship with the Lord in His Word. If we abide in the Lord's Word and allow His Word to richly abide in us, Colossians 3:16, we receive more life, and this life grows in us and brings us on to maturity until it shapes us in the image of Christ. And when we come together with the saints to fellowship, the seed of life in us is watered and the soil of our heart is enriched so that the seed may grow even more in the field of the church life. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus, we love you and we love your living word. Keep us abiding in you by abiding in your word. May your word dwell in us richly in all wisdom. Hallelujah, there is power in the living word of God, and this power causes us to grow in life unto maturity and to be shaped in the image of Christ. Break through in us, Lord, and make us the same as you are as we come to your word day by day. Keep us in the living move of the Lord as we abide in the living word of God. We treasure your speaking, Lord, for your speaking is full of light, life, and power. As those born of God, we want to be filled with the word to speak God's words to represent God. According to the divine revelation in the word of God, the Bible, Man was created in the image of God and according to his likeness, Genesis 1 28 This means that we look like God and we are given the privilege to express God and represent God. Since God is a speaking God, when he created man in his image, he created man with the ability to speak just like himself. Our God is a speaking God, and he created us in a marvelous way with two outstanding features, the spirit within man and our ability to speak, Genesis 2-7, 19-20, 23. On one hand, he created us in his image and according to his likeness, and he put in us a spirit to match him so that he may be able to come into our spirit and dwell in us. On the other hand, he created us with the ability to speak, even he is a speaking God. The most marvelous thing that God created was a spirit within man, and the second marvelous thing was that man was given the ability to speak. This is so that man would speak for God, that is, that man would speak God's words to represent God, John 12 50, 14 10, Acts 4 20, 31. On one hand, we have a mind to receive and apprehend the mind of God, an emotion to be filled with God's feelings, and a will to desire and will what God desires and wills. On the other hand, we have the ability to speak, and it is by speaking that we can represent God. We are here as children of God as those born of God to speak God's words and represent God. The most important requirement of a representative is that he must be able to speak, and that he must speak the same things that the person who sends him speaks. If someone comes to us as a representative but is dumb and cannot speak, we cannot understand what he wants or what his sender wants. Today we can represent God because we can speak, and we can speak because we are like God. God speaks, so we speak. However, simply by speaking words, our words, we do not represent God. We need to speak not the words of man but the words of God. A representative must speak the words of the one whom he represents, as representatives of God, we must speak the words of God. As God's representatives, we represent God and not ourselves, we represent God by speaking the words of God. Praise the Lord, we believers in Christ are born of God to have His life and nature, and we have the living Word of God in our being. When we open our mouth, we should speak God's words to represent God, when we speak, it should be God who speaks through us. Sometimes when someone speaks, you can tell what country he is from, outwardly he may seem to be from somewhere, but when he starts speaking, we realize where he is from. Similarly, we Christians as children of God are born of God, and we should speak God's words to represent God. Since we're born of God and have His life and nature, we naturally speak God's words. 
This is why we need to be in the Word of God and contact Him in His Word day by day, we need to be filled with God as the Word, and when we will speak, we will speak God's words. God wants us to express Him and represent Him mainly by our speaking for Him. Wow, we human beings can express God by our speaking, and we can represent God by speaking the words of God. It is such a shame to the enemy and a glory to God when a human being stands one with God, is filled with the Holy Spirit, and speaks the words of God to others, John 3 34, Acts 2 40, 5 20. The gates of Hades are there, always contesting and trying to prevail, and the way these gates are expressed is our words, our own words, our opinions, and our feelings. When we have improper speaking and improper words among us, this tears down the church. May we be filled with the words of God so that we can speak God's words and build up the church. May no corrupt word come out of our mouth but only that which is good for building up, that it may give grace to those who hear. May our words be full of faith to impart faith to those who hear us. Thank you, Lord, for regenerating us with your life and giving us the ability to speak so that we may express and represent you by our speaking. Hallelujah! We believers in Christ have God's life in our spirit and the Word of God in our hands and in our hearts, and we can speak God's words. Amen, Lord, we give ourselves to you to be in your Word in a living way, and to receive your living Word into our being. We want to be your representatives by speaking God's words and not our words. May no corrupt word come out of our mouth but only that which is good for building up. May we be those who speak God's word so that we may minister grace to those who hear.